Welcome to the HTML Learning Series. I'm Marty Baker. This video is on choosing and installing an HTML editor. In this video, you'll learn about the tools of the trade, why use an HTML editor, options, a look at the options available to you, all depending on your operating system, there will be a demonstration installing an editor on a Windows-based machine, and then finally, we'll look at the next steps. You'll learn about your next steps in order to complete the HTML editor assignment. So HTML editors over the years have advanced and become more sophisticated. When looking for an HTML editor, be sure to check for these features. Does the HTML editor have HTML syntax built into it? Be sure the editor supports HTML5 and legacy HTML standards such as XHTML and HTML4. A good HTML editor should have IntelliSense. IntelliSense is the capability of completing tags by either hitting a tab or entering keys as they're suggested to you by the editor. Have easy access to loading and saving HTML files. Like any HTML editor, good one, you should have the capability of undo, redo, search and replace text within your HTML documents. You should have color sense. This is color coding so that you can see HTML tags versus PHP tags versus JavaScript tags, those type of things. And finally, you might want to look for a feature called code collapse. This allows you to collapse such things as a div or a table so you can see only the parts of your code that are working on. I should note here that in this course, you should not be using a what you see is what you get or WYSIWYG HTML editor. You'll get a glimpse of these editors within these modules, but we want you to learn HTML from a code base. Don't be confused though, a WYSIWYG editor is not a content management system or a CMS such as WordPress or Joomla. You'll learn about CMSs in this program as well. There are lots of freeware programs out there, HTML editor programs, too many freeware options, there is no need to buy. So my suggestion is search and try and I'll give you a few options here within this video. So if you're on a Windows based machine, some of the most noted freeware options are Notepad++. You'll probably see me using mostly Notepad++ during um, demonstrations. Komodo Code or Komodo Edit is also Another one that's being used, Microsoft Expressions, is one that my students have loved in the past, and I'll be demonstrating installing Microsoft Expressions. NetBeans is another one. Um, I've picked a site for you here that is bundled by Oracle, and that comes with two pieces, both the JDK um, that you need and the NetBeans. For Mac, freeware options, again, Komodo Edit. Um, Pontana Studio, I understand they may have started charging, but do check. NetBeans also comes um, bundled by Oracle for Mac systems. And one of the ones that I hear from students quite often is Text Wrangler. So let's go ahead and demonstrate installing those items. And I've already downloaded two that I'm going to show you. The first one is Microsoft's Expressions Web, and it is free. And now that I've installed it, all I need to do to start the installation is to double click the exe file. And I'm going to get a warning, a web trial in by Microsoft. Yes, I want to go ahead and install this. And you would accept the terms. Go ahead and make your choice on whether you want to improve the customer experience. I'm going to say no for myself at this time. And I'm going to go ahead and install it via the defaults. So I'm going to click install. In order to shorten this uh, video just a little bit, I'm going to pause while it's finished installing. It shouldn't take long, but just a moment. Okay, in reality that took about two and a half, three minutes to install. And then you can go ahead and hit finish. And I'm going to end my slideshow for a moment so we can go back and look at Microsoft Expressions, Microsoft Expressions Web 4, and here's a complete look. The next one that we're going to install 
is going to be net beans. And again, see that I have a complete bundle here. And again, just double click it to start the installation. Again, say that you're going to go ahead and take that from Oracle. And when the installation comes up, installer comes up, click Next. Go ahead and accept. Accept the default location to install JDK. Accept the default installation to accept NetBeans. And then go ahead and say install. I do leave the check for updates available in case there's anything going on. So I'm going to click install. Again, pause this until the installation is finished. The installation of um, Java Development Kit and NetBeans IDE took about four, four and a half minutes. So once you have the finish screen, go ahead and click finish. And we'll go ahead and start it up as soon as we can. Let's try NetBeans. There we go. NetBeans IDE. And double click it. And you have your opening screen. And within NetBeans has a nice demo area, things that you can learn about it. Go ahead and run through that. Take a look at it as you are learning to use a different HTML editor. What are your next steps? Well, your next step should be to read and compare different types of editors for your operating system. Select an editor to try, download the needed installation file, and install the editor of your choice. So once you've done that, you're going to need to create a screen capture of the editor and it being open. Then go ahead and save it to a Word document and submit the assignment on your learning management system, which is Canvas in our case. So thank you very much for watching this, and if you have any questions, be sure to email me at mbaker at email.edcc.edu. Thanks.